Di Edi Alta Brim Well Been gone Not for you guys really Been so crazy at work Work comes first You gotta pay the bills you know Been talking to a friend of mine He's on the other channel I won't give him this one Tell me about his beliefs and, well, what he believes in. He's Hindu and there's some variations and certain truths that one can't truly come out and say. Especially ones when the other person's not willing to listen yet. I have found it quite confusing that you fundies cannot grasp a simple concept. It is actually exasperating for me to deal with people like you. When you're dealing with other cultures, other people who are not like you. You cannot approach them from the position of being condescending and insulting. Even under the premise that Almighty One was in the wrong, which is not in this case. How are you going to get them to alter their behavior by insulting or ridiculing them? And by applying that Wiccans are well, less desirable? You're also insulting them. So who's really in the wrong? I've lived a very long time, and I've seen a whole lot, and I've been all through all walks of life. Well, not every walk of life. A few. I wasn't that stupid. Thank God. But um, I've seen things, and I may not have had those walks in certain areas, but I have had the dealings. Naming homosexuality, for example. Never been, never wanted to, never had any desire, never had any interest, never wanted to. You know. Just saying it is abnormal and unnatural is an understatement for me. Um, but I have known people who were. And then some of them kept it secret. But I already knew who they were without them speaking. I even had a subordinate once that was uh, bisexual, to be more technically correct. He ended up going AWOL on his wife and, uh, well, caused a lot of problems. I had to get him court-martialed. Didn't have a choice. Charges had to be pressed. And uh, he got court-martialed. Not because he was gay, but because he was a wall. And in the military life, there's another law that says you are not to commit adultery against your spouse, which will probably go away in the next couple of years, since it is an Abrahamic law. But. Um, Is that's the way the world sees it, the Abrahamic. So I've had a lot of dealings in a lot of different way worlds, in a lot of different people, in a lot of different cultures, and you boneheads can't see a simple thing. What gives you the right to press 
your sensibilities and your thoughts on another person when even he didn't say to do that? Is your righteousness really greater? Or is it only your foolishness? That's my question to you. Is your righteousness greater or only your foolishness? But if it is greater, then you have a lot to learn. Because you don't know what you think you know. I spent some time with my mentor recently. Another reason I've been away. He decided that we needed to talk. And he had to remind me who I was. And I listened, as I always do. He reminded me why I'm here, what my purpose in life is, and what I'm here to accomplish. Sometimes you forget. You get so wound up into the moment and the world and all the other stuff and you forget. I was reminded. Well, I'm going to attach a little story at the end of this. I'm going to muck it up a bit to hide the identity of the person I'm thinking of. But it's a good story. It's a good story. Maybe if you can't understand my accents or how I reflect my words, maybe you'll understand it in writing a whole lot better. Watch the story. Learn from the story. The person that spoke it was the person that lived it. Maybe you'll learn something. And if not the words from the story, listen to the words of the song. Take care, guys. All you may do, I'm still going to be here. <laughs> shalom, shalom, shalom. All the colors of the rainbow All the voices of the wind Every dream that reaches out That reaches out to find where love begins Every word of every story Every star and every sky Every corner of creation lives to testify. For as long as I shall live, I will testify. 